my friends, you know what time it is. We have to come on over to the rock. Come on over to the rock. Come on over to the rock. It's time for us to have a meeting. You can come on over to the rock. Come on over to the rock. Come on over to the rock. It's time for us to have a meeting. Hello, and welcome back to the BFS E News Podcast. I'm Andy Cohen, your host. Let's begin by thanking Camille and Rachel for letting us get a peek into the Blue Room and experience a transition from one activity to the next. This week on the show, we will have the Middle School Advisory 5B with the community announcements, followed by a commercial about a very special upcoming event. Our big story this week is about an ongoing art-slash-cultural exchange with our sister school in Tanzania, but first, Enjoy this alumni reflection. It was a time of great experimentation. I remember a class room that was carpeted and different levels. And Mr. Norgard was just such an odd duck and so funny. And I don't think I would have ever eaten cuttlefish if it hadn't been for Mr. Norgard. And Donald Conise was cute, and he's the English teacher. Well, I think everybody has a crush on their English teacher. You never have a crush on your math teacher, do you? Very activist. Other people I knew were walking out to a, against the war. We closed the school closed down, and everybody left. It's important to do works. It's in good works. It's important to pay attention to the world around you. It's important to be active in that world tie in between your spiritual beliefs and how you act in the world. On Tuesday, October 3rd, the PAT will present Screenagers, a film about growing up in the digital age. Starting at 6.30 in the Pearl Street Meeting House Theater, the screening will be followed by a discussion. All parents and students 10 years old and up are invited. Tickets are $10 and are available online at brooklynfriends.org slash screenagers. On Wednesday, October 4th, the PAT will hold a class parent reception starting at 6 p.m. in the Pearl Street Cafeteria. All volunteer class parents are welcome. On Thursday, October 5th, from 6 to 9 p.m., is the 7th and 8th grade curriculum night at Pearl Street. And next week, Thursday, October 12th, will be the 5th and 6th grade curriculum night. All middle school parents are welcome. Look for the email with middle school with complete details. On Friday, October 6th, all parents new to BFS are welcome to the PAT Coffee Hour for, for parents new to BFS, starting at 8 a.m. for middle school parents and, and 8.30 a.m. for preschool and lower school parents in the Pearl Street Cafeteria. Learn all kinds of cool stuff. The fall sports season is underway. Go to BFSAthletics.org for schedules and come out to support the teams and show your Blue Pride! This year's Indigenous Peoples Program on October 17 has the theme Reclaiming Sovereignty, Reclaiming Our Voices. Haudenosaunee and Algonquin visitors will be here at BFS for the whole school day, speaking at collections and bringing special classes and workshops with storytelling, pottery, music, dance, and history, and more. 
The day will conclude after the end of the school day with an evening of celebration and dance. We are also expanding the Indigenous Peoples Program this year to include a day of workshops on Saturday, October 14th. The Saturday workshops and the Tuesday evening celebration are at the Quaker Meeting House, 110 Skirmerhorn Street. Both of these are free and open to parents and families of BFS and to the public. Kids are kids, and especially this age group, when they find something that really fascinates them or they're curious about, um, they get really excited. And I saw that when I went to Kiss and Gora, and I see that every day at Brooklyn Friends. Um, and I just loved that uh, sort of connection and similarity. I think the main difference is that children that go to the school in Kiss and Gora have to walk miles to get there. They have to allow at least an hour to two hours to get to school and to get back because there are no subways and there are no buses. And the other thing I noticed is that there are a few more kids in each class than we have at Brooklyn Friends. That was teachers Kathleen Clinchy and Ellen Kahan. And now, I'm here today with Marna Herity and Kevin Cooney. We're going to be talking about our sister school in Tanzania, Kisangara. Marna, you've gone three or four times, right? Yes. And, and Kevin, you've been to Kisangara? Three times. Three times. What is it you've been doing over those three visits? Well, the first time I visited at the schools and basically fell in love with the country, with the people, and the students and faculty and administration at this school. Marna initiated a program of sharing art with the school there in Kisangura. We also want to learn more about what it, how it is we could help them. We wanted to talk to them directly, since communication was poor between our countries, to find out what the Kisangura students were looking for in a relationship with our school. So we went there in person, uh, we made the art exchange, and we brought some technology with us. We brought some la small laptops or a netbook, mm -hmm. and uh, we also brought with us some uh, science equipment, some microscopes and things like that, that I assumed would be of value. They are very um, happy to receive that the technology and uh, to help develop their science department there. Uh, they have very limited resources. Tanzania is one of the poorest countries in the world, but they have a fairly high literacy rate. What they really could use, though, is some more of the technology that we had, like microscopes and other lab equipment. And so the art project, can you Tell us a little bit about that, Marna. Well, actually, the first art project was between three upper school students who, it was their CAST project, and as part of the IB program, and the Kissangora Secondary Schools. And then we initiated a drawing share with our students in the middle school and students at the Kissangora Primary School. And we've actually had two different drawing shares over the past six years. What things did they draw in, these, in this share? The whole idea of this share is to learn more about one another in, from what are our cultures, what do we do, how, what is our school like? And so we started with four very simple questions. Um, what animals do you see near your home? Um, what's a typical dinner you eat? Who is your family? And what, what's one activity you enjoy doing outside of school? On the templates for the drawings, we had the wording in both Swahili and in English so that it would be not just a visual drawing share, but also students from both schools could learn, start to learn more about each other's languages. For the exhibit, there were student docents, isn't that correct? Yes, we had some outside visitors to the exhibit. There's a committee through the New York Quarter that also works with the Kisangora schools. And so we wanted those folks to have a chance to see our student artwork. And we worked with a few 7th and 8th grade docents, and they were amazing. The Quakers were very excited to hear the student perspective on this project, and they thought it was a wonderful Thing that our school is doing. Is there anything else you guys would like to add? I think this has been a terrific project and, and I really thank you for your efforts in it. Tanzania is a very large country and very complex with over 150 languages. The national language is Swahili and students learn Swahili in school but in the secondary school they're also learning English. They would like to uh, learn more English and there are ways that our school can maybe help them with through the technology 
of improving English instruction. And now that cell communication is, is much improved in Tanzania, we are now able to work with them through the internet. Since uh, one of the teachers we work with there, he's the Swahili teacher. So if any of our students and maybe in the high school are interested in learning Swahili, we could also um, help with that. Thank you so much, Marna, Kevin, Kathleen, and Ellen, and the faculty and staff of Kisangara School and their students. And let's remember to let our lives sing.